Now, a CBS2 exclusive. A Chicago police officer left permanently disabled after being dragged and thrown from a car. Tells our Tara Molina he just wants to move on with his life. But the case against the man who dragged him is dragging through court. The driver charged with attempted murder is now claiming fear of police as a defense. Tara is joining us from the newsroom. Tara, it's been more than two years. Erica, more than two years, and this former Chicago police officer is still adjusting to living a new normal. He has permanent traumatic brain injuries, and doctor's orders meant never working as an officer again. But he didn't expect the criminal justice system to take this long. He wants to move on, and that's why he's speaking out. November 23rd, 2020, two Chicago police officers stopped a car they saw run a red light. The traffic stop changed one of their lives forever. I remember thinking, I'm going to die. He's not showing his face or using his name. I remember thinking, I don't want to die. But you can see exactly why this former Chicago police officer still feels thankful to be alive. I remember thinking, he doesn't care about my life. I remember thinking, he's trying to kill me. The driver didn't have a license and was asked to step out of the car. The officer went to open the door. That's when he says the driver took off, leaving him hanging on the side door, thrown into a wall when the car crashed into a steel pole. It became completely black. It was within a matter of seconds. When you give no regard at all towards any kind of law, worse things happen. He spent more than a week in the hospital brain hemorrhages, a broken jaw, tears in his shoulder, a fractured back. I have four titanium plates in my head. The man behind the wheel, Aaron Okalola, indicted by a grand jury on attempted murder of a police officer and more. But Okalola had a felony record before this. Just a few weeks before, he was arrested on felony charges and released the day later. Okalola's attorney filing a motion to allow an expert to testify to the defendant's actions as a result of fear based on police violence in the black community, claiming self-defense and a reasonable fear of imminent unlawful violence. Quote, he acted out of such fear. First filed over the summer, the motion requiring an expert report has held the case up for months. This, this has been dragged on long enough. This former Chicago police officer's hope for closure. It feels as though I was dragged last week. So I've been trying to continue on my life. I, I want to close this chapter. I want to close this chapter and try to live my new normal. The status hearing in the case today was pushed to next Thursday. That's the final submission date for an expert's report on the defense related to fear of police violence. And that's when the judge will rule on whether or not that defense can be used in trial. Aaron Okalola's attorney told me he can't comment on the pending case. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Tara, thank you.